There's one vegetable that lives large in the collective imagination and gives children all around the world nightmares, and it's this guy, the humble little Brussels sprout. And it doesn't have to be that way. In the right hands and with the right recipe, these guys can be little flavour bombs. They can be quite difficult to grow though, and you've got to get them in at the right time, be in a cold climate to get those nice tight little heads. But if you stuff it up, it doesn't matter. Because they're a part of the brassica family, you can just treat the little leaves like cabbages. But I'm going to show you a recipe today to make sure that these guys become the stuff that dreams are made out of. I'm going to be making pan-fried Brussels sprouts with a caper and anchovy butter. Now, it's a great accompanying dish if you've got some roast meat and you want to have a little bit of a lunch, or you can also make it a meal in its own right by whacking it on a piece of toast. Either way, the choice is yours. First things first, you've got to give them a bit of a trim up. So to do that, we cut the base off, trim off any loose leaves, so you've got a nice tight little head there, and then using a paring knife, cut an X into the bottom, about half a centimetre. So that's one. Repeat ad nauseum. Now, the reason I think Brussels sprouts get such a bad rap is because if you boil these guys to within an inch of their life, they just become sad, soggy little parcels of cabbage leaves. But where they come into their own is where you treat them as a vessel for other strong flavours. All those little leaves in there are perfect for carrying other delicious combos of flavour. So, let me introduce you to the flavours that are going to be boosting up these Brussels sprouts. We've got a lovely big chunk of butter, we've got some anchovies, I've got these flavour-packed capers, garlic, lemon, parsley, salt. Put that all together and your Brussels sprouts will be singing. First up, we'll get a couple of these anchovy fillets. And that's going to add a really nice, intense, salty flavour to the butter. Give them a bit of a chop up. In with the butter. There we go. So I've got roughly two tablespoons of capers there. And these don't have to be too finely chopped. Just a rough chop over the top is going to be enough. Now, whenever I'm finely chopping garlic, I like to pour just a little bit of olive oil over the top. And that way, as I'm chopping it up, it stops it from sticking to the knife and your fingers and keeps it as a nice, neat little pile. I love butter. <laughs> So the sprouts go into a big pot of rapidly boiling water that I've put a nice handful of salt in. And they'll cook for about oh, two or three minutes. So they should be just about ready. So I'll check one now. And if the knife goes into the stem with only the littlest bit of resistance, which that does, they're ready. Now my sprouts are cooked. I'm going to cut them in half from stem to tip. Chop up this lemon and roughly chop this parsley, which I'll use to finish the dish. Heat up the pan, add a good glug of olive oil, in with the sprouts, and I want to cook them until they're nicely caramelised with lots of nice, crunchy little brown bits on. Then in with the anchovy and caper butter. Once the butter starts to foam and turn nutty brown, add a nice handful of parsley, a big squeeze of lemon juice, and away you go, your sprouts are ready. So if you've never fancied yourself as a devotee to the Church of Sprout, then give this recipe a crack, because I guarantee you'll change your mind. I can't wait to tuck into this. <laughs>